Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. My channel is called Sheila Sparkles, and today I'll take you to some of my favorite luxury houses. So we have first here Chanel, love me a bit of Chanel. So I'm just trying on some bags from the previous collection, and this one was really nice. I've always wanted a mini top handle, but I just can't get hold of them over here in Australia. So yeah, so we have here a seasonal piece in a very nice tan or like neutral color. But unfortunately, if you guys didn't know, I'm not really a neutral gal. So there you go. I am more attracted to vibrant colors. So yeah, but we have boho bags here and then, or no, sorry, hobo bags, what am I saying? And then we have here this bucket style bag, which is a bit slouchy and yeah love me more a more structured bag so and then i'm showing you some clogs or like shoes and then we have this like seasonal piece is quite stunning but not to my liking and one of this bag actually caught my attention look it has like a metallic or a shimmer on the um flap just down there and it is a wallet on chain it's quite nice and this one is another bucket bag, which is not really my style. Like, I love me a bucket bag, but this one is just, I don't know, I don't like white. So, yeah, I've already got a white bag in my collection, so I'm not adding any more. But this, on the other hand, is so cute because I'm going to a wedding, like, in a few months, two months' time. So, I was really wanting something, like, small to take, but as you all know this one is quite lovely but you know it's not a mini kelly <laughs> so yeah there you go the truth comes out from my mouth so yeah i mean this is lovely and but for five thousand australian dollars i was just not willing to pay for that and this one is also such a cutie and another oh i'd love me a sequin bag i've been wanting one but it's just I'm not that point in my life yet where I can just spend 10000 on a sequin bag. So there you go. But this is so lovely. I mean, you can like stroke it to make it look more vibrant or to, you know, like, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, it is quite lovely, but it's just a steep price tag. So I'm kind of looking for a small bag that I want to take to the wedding that's not, that I'm not going to be babying. Like I could just leave the bag or like when I go dancing, then I'm not going to be, you know, stressing about spilling or anything. And this one caught my eye. Although it is, yeah, I love it. My SA actually agreed that she actually really loves this cutie as well. And it's not an adjustable strap, but still it's very like comfortable. Like as a cross body, I think for my height, I'm 165 centimeter in height. And I think this really suits my body you know like my body frame and then here i'm attracted to a top handle i really need one in like a yellow color i think a pastel yellow would look so good you know like a john posan kind of moment or even like a like a lemon cello like these are hermes colors but these are like vibrant yellow the lemon cello and i love this one as well but yeah just just not a fan of the color i would say and this pink oh everything pink pink is a neutral color guys <laughs> i don't know if you agree but i love me pink but yeah and this one too which was that bag that i just showed you there with the you know with the crystals was actually like fifteen thousand australian dollars and that's like a wallet on, on chain so you you know just put things into perspective for chanel after the price increase and here i'm on the jewelry section because i've always wanted to buy a jewelry piece from chanel which we will at some point but i haven't been able to pull the trigger this one is a coco crush look at that this is in white gold and i think it is so lovely and chunky and i think my next yeah, I think I would really love the Coco Crush in a white gold or even like with the smaller ring size. I think it also looks really cool stacked together with my other jewelry pieces. So yeah, I love it. And then she's trying the beige. She's just put on the beige gold or the 
it's like the rose gold color and i think it suits my skin tone as well so i might get it in a rose gold or a white gold who knows or maybe i'll get the thin version and just get both rose gold and white gold in the thinner version so that i can stack them now this ring is so stunning um with a hefty price tag as well i think it was like twenty five thousand australian dollars which is a lot of money but i mean there's diamonds in there and then this ring as well is so shiny and shimmery and it's around ten thousand almost eleven thousand australian dollar from my recollection but yeah it just signifies you know like the different significance to the chanel or their like we have like the feather the comet and the sun the camellia so this represents the house and this symbolize you know symbolize like this one is the comet and the star which is actually very very stunning and my sa was very knowledgeable was very lovely to explain to me you know the comet and the sun and all this what the fashion house signifies and that's why we have the number five as well and we also have the feather you know the flower what it represents coco chanel was highly superstitious and believed that the number five is one of her lucky number that's why she's launched most of her collection and the fifth and also like her lucky number the chanel number five perfume also was like me it was mostly like a mistake or something like that but it turned out to be a very very beautiful mistake so there you go i'm just trying on which one do i like the most so please help me guys and comment down below but yeah i feel i like the rose gold the best a really good price point for a chanel bracelet would be this one if you're more into like daintier pieces so yeah so we have here this rose gold or yeah it's beautiful but yeah we've got a few loafers here and we have here this brown and black one which i think is so ugly i'm sorry guys and then the black one here which i think is quite nice yeah um but i'm not really a ballet flat girl but i do understand the convenience and you know the comfortability of these heels they are really comfortable and the sling bags i've tried them on as well because they were glittery because i love me some sparkles but i'm more like an amino Mwadi gal that's my look staying on the topic of like shoes we have here some stuart weitzman sh colorful shoes i mean i do appreciate them from a distance but i've never been drawn to stuart weitzman designs i don't know why maybe i would consider their boots but like their shoes are just there's nothing special to them i feel like but i mean you know if you love them then go for it but it is just not I don't find them attractive and then we have your aquazura which i actually find really nice as well like even look at the logo at the back like a pineapple it's actually really lovely and they always have like sales at david jones here in melbourne australia i feel like so if you want to grab yourself a deal go ahead but yeah i love their styles i love me a bling i love me some sparkles you know i'm a magpie so i always gravitate towards these type of like blingy shoes i love them but the design is just a bit outdated um personally speaking and yeah i just i'm more like amina moadi kind of shoes or mac and mac and the price point at aquazura is actually similar but they do have sales going on as well I love Renee Calvilla as well. Unfortunately, we don't have Renee Calvilla here in Australia. So I would just have to do with like online shopping. But again, you know, if you've watched my previous videos about my shoe collection, I actually own one pair, which was a bit pricey. But I didn't get anywhere out of them because the wrap around crystals that you know wrap around your ankles they just oh my gosh they hurt like a bitch but yeah here i'm showing you sorry i'm off topic now this versace like baby doll or brat's doll kind of shoes i've actually tried them on and they're very heavy guys so that really deterred me or prevented me from purchasing them and then we've got here this pointed heel with like a slim back version 
for a good price i mean those are like versace shoes so they are quite pricey and but yeah i do enjoy i admire them from a distance showing some other bags we have here the sardine bag and i've tried this on this brown quite like almost like black you know like chocolate color i mean it's not my color but i can appreciate it in the infamous what is their weave called oh it's called intrachiato weave and yeah i i do admire the design but it's basically a top handle bag or a crook of the arm you can't really put it in your shoulder there's just no way that will fit even to the tiniest people you know like the tiniest person so we have this fun purple color which i actually adore and some other jody bags i mean i was actually considering getting the mini jody previously but yeah this is more like work bags over here as much as i love the color and the design i absolutely do not like the strap that comes along with it and it's non-detachable as well there's no option to detach those you know like string of a strap it's just yeah it's ridiculous i don't know but i don't like the strap it looks kind of cheap but yeah just trying this on because you know love me some yellow fun colors we have another bag here or more like a clutch and it doesn't come with a handle or anything like that but it just seems like prim and proper and i feel like it felt quite durable the sales associate said it was made out of calf skin so and this one has like a metallic sheen to it and i think that it looks so cool like bronzy i love it um yeah it seems a bit like more madame look and i'm all for that so there you go let's move on to fendi i was really quite interested when i saw this online this nano baguette i think oh look at this pink pink is such a neutral <laughs> but yeah i love me some pink so this is from their like napa leather um i mean it's cute look at this sparkly sequin bag isn't it just out of this world it is so pretty i was like <gasps> whoa look at this so yeah so i like this like apparently this purple is like sex in the city vibes but i mean i love me some purple but i'm more attracted to the pink version of this an absolute cutie or an absolute stunner this nano bag it's just a dream i really love it i love it but the problem was i was just not sold into this purple color like i wanted more of like a true pink so she only had that so i went to another shop oh which is also fendi but a different you know it was a different um location so and tried this bronze and i was like oh my gosh it is so stunning so again i was like oh i felt bad because i'm gonna go back there and see her again so i didn't want to purchase it from that boutique and then so we went i went to Miu Miu and just had to look at their small bags you know like nano bags because i was like i really wanted to add a nano bag in my collection but this one uh i was just underwhelming it wasn't you know the shade of pink was just too light for my liking i guess i know i'm a complicated person but you know and this pink is also cute and then this strap just looks a bit blah you know like it's just a bit cheap looking in my opinion and then this they have a structured bag but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my video and yeah please do like and subscribe i would love you to join you know the family of luxury lovers and friends until next time i will see you next time Take care, everyone. Bye, guys.